Hey everyone and welcome to today's video tutorial. My name is Jed Derryberry. I'm a Skype master teacher from South Carolina here in the United States and today our topic is going to be mystery Skype. This is something that I love to talk about. I hope you can hear the excitement in my voice as I talk about it because mystery Skype is one of those tools that I have taught hundreds of teachers to use um, and it's the one that is just an, an entryway, an entry point into the world of Skype that has brought so many teachers um, into the globally connected educator community. And it's really just a lot of fun to participate in a Mystery Skype. What is Mystery Skype? Mystery Skype is basically like playing a game of 20 questions to find out a mystery topic. The mystery topic um, for most people is the location of the class that you're talking with. So if I'm on one of the mystery call, I've got another call that the students there don't know where I am and my students don't know where they are. And through a series of yes or no questions, they ask each other logically deducing questions till they find out where each other um, are located. So they may say, is your um, country in North America? Um, then once you decide if they're in what country they're in, you may want to decide if you're in the United States, what state they're in um, or what territory they're in or something like that. So you logically do, you may want, does your um, country border the Pacific Ocean? Does your state um, lie in the central time zone of the U.S.? And through those logical deduction of yes or no questions, you find out where each other are located. And then the trickle down effect happens. You learn all kind of different information about uh, the class, where they're from, their town, their country. Um, but you don't just have to do location. You could, you could do uh, mystery animal, mystery biome. Uh, mystery animal is always fun because each class comes up with their own animal. And then through a series of yes or no questions, you logically deduce what that animal is. Uh, does your animal have four legs? Why, yes, it does. Does your animal have fur? Why, yes, it does. Your animal must be a mammal then because it has fur. And then you just logically deduce um, what the other person. So it's basically 20 questions. Um, and it helps you to uh, just use those higher order thinking skills. Now, uh, to why would you want to do this in your classroom? I came up with some uh, re really top five reasons why I think you should use Skype in the classroom. Number one being that you're going to meet some really new people, some awesome people on the other end of Skype. Every mystery Skype opportunity that I've had, I've connected with a classroom, a teacher who has just really been um, inspirational to me um, and encouraging and, and, you know, really motivating to me uh, to meet these people and to um, know what they're doing out there in the world. It's been very powerful to meet those new people uh, and your students get to meet those uh, new friends as well. Number two, it gives your students an opportunity to practice speaking. You want to make sure that uh, your students come to the camera, they talk, they interact with this uh, class on the other side, speak loud, speak clear, enunciate their words so that you can understand what uh, is being said. Uh, that's an important skill that you need to practice for everyday life. Um, number three is you're going to learn about new cultures. You're going to learn about uh, new foods, new music. Uh, and you say, well, wait a minute, how's that happening in Mystery Skype? It's through the conversations that happen after this Skype is over. After the mystery opportunity has um, concluded, you can talk as long as you want. Stay connected with that class. Uh, specifically, I remember one time I was in a rural town in South Carolina, and we were connected to a class right in the heart of New York City. Uh, you talking about learning about some new culture. Uh, we learned about new culture, and they did as well. Um, down here in South, um, uh, this, the culture is different than it is in the inner city of New York City. But we, we found a lot of commonalities, but we learned a lot as well, and it was a unique time. Uh, so that was a great opportunity that happened just because of Mystery Skype. The other thing that I love that happens, this is number four reason that you want to do it, is, is students really have to develop their questioning ability. You, you have to think about deep questions uh, that would um, help you deduce the students or the answer of the students on the other side. You can't just um, come up with shallow questions. You really have to think uh, deeply about the questions that you're going to ask because you're trying to win the game. It's very serious. It's cutthroat. You've got to be the winner of the, the mystery Skype and, and your questions are what make or break the, um, the, the, the experience. You've got to ask good questions. So it really develops. The first time you play, your kids might not have the best questions, but they learn very quickly. They have to get better at it. It trains them to do better. 
And um, the fifth reason that I want to recommend uh, Mystery Skype is, is for, like I've alluded to already, the extensions that come well after the Mystery Skype. Um, I have countless teacher friends who have developed relationships with teachers um, and their classes uh, through a Mystery Skype. And then once a week, they call that student, that class back just to check in, see what they're learning about, talk about experiences that they've had in their community that week, talk about um, different learning opportunities that have arisen throughout the week, and maybe um, collaborate on some projects, collaborate on some learning experiences together. Um, lots of that happens as a result of the Mystery Skype. So there's my top five reasons. So now that I've got you hooked, um, how do you get started with Mystery Skype? Well, first of all, you really, you really should consider becoming a part of the Microsoft Educator Community, and that's where we are here today. To get there, you go to education.microsoft.com. Again, that's education.microsoft.com. And when you get here, you're going to create your account. If you've seen other tutorials with me, you um, know how to create your account here. And you're going to click on the Skype in the Classroom button here. And you're going to scroll down and you will see Mystery Skype here. And if you click on Mystery Skype, there's lots of things that uh, you can do right off the bat before you even get started. There's a video here where you can watch a video of a Mystery Skype happening. Um, there is um, a resource here where you click on that, it'll download a resource for you, uh, our uh, Mystery Skype notebook, um, and a sway guide with, full of teacher tips to get you started. You can click on that. Um, most everything I'm gonna cover here today for you. Um, with getting started, you want to make sure that you um, download Skype first. You want to practice with a teacher across the hall. Um, prep your kids. Help them understand what's going to happen. Uh, maybe formulate some questions ahead of time, specifically if you're doing a location mystery Skype. Um, or maybe even divide your class into two groups and practice across the, the aisle of your um, classroom, so to speak, uh, and have students practice that way before they um, uh, jump in for a game. When you have created your profile and you come to this page, you can also click here and you can opt in to become a part of the Microsoft Educator community um, and let people know out there in the big world that you want to um, be a part of the Skype, uh, Mystery Skype community. And that's what you're going to see here. This is the Mystery Skype community down here. Every purple name that you see here is a teacher that wants to Mystery Skype somewhere around the world. Now, as I'm just scrolling through, I see people from London. I see people from Yellowstone. Uh, I click view more and I'm going to scroll down further and see people from Hungary, from Connecticut, from Michigan, from Spain. Uh, there's people from all around the world. And let's say you want to look for something very specific to do mystery Skype with. Skype and, and Microsoft have made the educator community here excellent. We have these filter options. If you click on filter, you can, you can filter your search by age group. You can filter by subject. You can look for specific times that they're available. You can look for a specific country, uh, a specific language. Maybe you're a language teacher here in the U.S. and you want to um, Skype with a classroom so that your students can hear authentic Spanish, French, German, um, Japanese, Chinese, whatever the language um, that you are working on in your classroom, you can find that here. So I'm going to do a quick search. I taught for 13 years, first and second grade. So I hovered between the ages of six to uh, eight. So I'm just going to click on this one here, that eight. Um, I see very quickly someone who's in the third grade. Um, I see again somebody from Spain there. So let's say, I, oh, here's one three hours behind me. I know right off the bat that person must be in the Pacific time zone somewhere um, in the U.S. there. They're three hours. Let's, let's just click on there. And this will open up Stacy's uh, profile. We can learn more about her. She doesn't have a profile picture there, but that's okay. But if I want to request a Mystery Skype with her, I can just hit that button, request a Mystery Skype. And then I can send her a message straight from the Microsoft Educator Community telling her what day and time I would like to connect. What happens there is it will send an email directly to her account um, via the Skype, um, via, via the Educator Community, and it will prepare her for, um, uh, let her know that I'm ready to do a Mystery Skype. And then we'll start the dialogue back and forth of working out uh, the, the best time for us to do that. Uh, again, you want to jump in here as soon as possible because your kids are going to love this. It's going to be a great experience for you and your classroom will be a forever, forever changed and become a globally connected classroom. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, until next time, we'll see you. Uh, reach out and connect with the world. Thanks for joining us. See you.